<laughs> I got it that time. Welcome back to another episode of TVGP's We Rogue Like It. I'm your host, Boston. Joining me is always, sorry, I'm your host, Boston PhD. Joining me Thank is you. Dr. Moonpeer. Thank you. And Monkey DDS. Yo. Um, doctor, doctor. Doctor, doctor. Uh, if you didn't realize, we're here to talk about some science and figure out where we're going to rank our latest game, Dead Cells. Uh, let's start off as we usually do with sort of our wrap up uh, on the game overall, starting with you, Mr. Monkey. Uh, I really like this game. Uh, mm -hmm. even, even before uh, actual release, you know, I played it in early access and like it, it really hooked me then and it just got even better uh, playing it now, um, mm -hmm. especially because I could beat it now <laughs> back then um yeah like the the ramp up when you do beat it your first time second time i didn't beat it the third time but it that's a you could have lied, really... you could have lied and told me you beat it on five cell mode just to complete your prophecy as the, as the monkey right. the unlocked 100 percent of everything i did it yep. no but yeah like that that ramp up is really good um the uh the art style is great like that mm -hmm. and the animation and everything like even even uh when my girlfriend would randomly like start watching me she even mentioned like man this animation is really clean yeah uh i really like the music especially the uh, uh first stages music with the uh guitar yes. that just keeps plucking yeah and then the I, I think that the the last stage's music is a reprised version of that. It's just like has extra instruments. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah. I think it is, yeah. But yeah, like this this game is really good. Um I I wanna say I will play it more to try to try to beat it uh -huh. uh, all five times. But you know, like there's a lot of games to play, so <laughs> that's right. That's right. There's a lot, a lot of games coming out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Moon, how about you? Your final thoughts here on Dead Cells? Uh, pretty much the same, to be honest. I mean, since uh, I did not get this in early access, but this was one of those games that the second early access hit, I'm pretty sure we were still playing Isaac um, for T Bomb R. Go check I out that so. backlog for a year and a half of content, folks. <laughs> that's right. Um, like we were still playing that, and even then, we were, I was hearing people talking about oh, new roguelike come out on early yeah, access. It's the next big Dead one, Cells. and I was like, okay, cool. I'll probably pick it up when it came, comes to consoles. I did. I loved it. It was very difficult, but I yeah. definitely enjoyed it then. And then going back to it, literally the very first run. Now having taken like a year and a half off from it, and. I beat the game very first run. Right. <laughs> it's like clearly the patches are doing something to help. Right. Um, like it still maintains the, the the tightest controls I've seen in a long time in a video mm -hmm. game. Like really good options, really good variety, different ways to play. Like it's still a phenomenal game. I think this will remain installed on my Xbox through this generation into the next. Because yeah. it is a game that, even just going back to it and with that huge break, I immediately snapped back into it. It's like, cool, I know these controls, I know how this plays, I know everything about it. So, yeah, I'm I'm keeping it installed. And I'll probably load it up every now and again when I feel like wanting to punch myself in the face and try one cell mode. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll yeah. beat my head against this wall for about two hours. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I, don't, I think the, the best thing about this game is... It definitely did live up to the the community's excitement, where it felt like one of those roguelikes that hit early access and immediately everyone was like, "So great, this is done, right?" Like <laughs> you're just you're just sort of making sure all the the last minute bugs are done, um, and it it only continues to get better as the it's so the the company that made this spun off their own company to continue to work on dead cells while the main company twin motion uh continues to work on their next game so like it's oh. nice to see them be so committed to supporting this game for the long term and i think that that makes me feel really good about this game and supporting it and 
it's just one of those games where everything feels right. Like, it always feels cool breaking down a door and stunning a bunch of people, rolling over there, like, slashing them a couple times, falling through the floor and, like, stomping on a bunch of other people and stunning them. And, like, just the mi the the moment-to-moment -moment flow, even when you're not fighting, especially when you get the spider rune, it's like, all right, cool, like, I don't have to go up this shaft slowly anymore like i can just triangle jump up this whole thing and just the whole thing feels so good and mm -hmm. looks so great like the lighting especially i feel like doesn't get enough credit um and it's just as time has gone on it's gotten better and better and and more balanced i feel mm -hmm. where i i They're feel definitely patching it in the right direction yeah, because I feel like we keep seeing all these <clears throat> roguelikes where we're like, oh, okay, I picked this up after, like, a year, and it's impossibly difficult. Like, what, what, like what do you guys... Like the prime example of that. Yeah, yeah 100%. It's show. like, it's like, oh, cool, so you, no one can start this game at all now. Um, so, yeah, I, Dead Cells has stayed installed on my PS4 ever since I bought it, and I would go every once in a while to hop back in when I'd see, like, a new story for a, a new expansion or a new patch or whatever. Um, but yeah, this I'm like you, Moon, where it'd be like, every once in a while, I was like, I don't, kind of don't have anything to play. Let me check my roguelikes folder. Oh, yeah, Dead Cells. All right, yeah. Okay. It's the same as uh, Risk of Rain, where it's like, yeah, it just, it kind of lives in my, my roguelikes folder on my PS4, and waiting for a rainy day to kind of hop back into that yeah mm -hmm. yeah uh all right well let's talk about where it sits in our giant infallible list of the best roguelikes of all time uh talked about this before the show this is definitely a top 10 game so we're going to start here at a uh, top 10 is this better than darkest dungeon yes uh, yeah yep uh is this better than solitarica I love Solitarica, it's a solid game, but yes, like yeah. all around this is a better game than Solitarica. And we can all just agree now, let's just jump straight over 20XX because this is 100% better than that. In controls yeah. alone. I, I can agree with yeah. that, sure. I can agree with that as well. A rare two ranking jump. Dead Cells is just <laughs> shooting at the top here. Uh, is Dead Cells better than The Legend of Bumbo? Yes. Bumbo is I, a great conceptual game. And Dead Cells was not for, not alone in its faults when it was in early access. Oh, it sure. It had issues. Well, guess what? When that thing came to the Xbox, it didn't crash on me. It didn't cause That's any issues because it was out of early access. It was <laughs> right. a released game at that time and functioned. Right. So, mm -hmm. in my opinion, yes, it is better than Legend of Bumbo. Yeah. From that, that snapshot when we put Legend of Bumbo on the list, mm -hmm. like, y yes, it maybe through patches, it, uh, Legend of Bumble might have gone better, maybe. I don't know. I haven't sure. gone back to it yet, but yeah, okay. the Dead Cells. Well, and, and Ed McMillan has, as we're recording this episode, it's dating a little bit, has recently said that they're switching developers on Bumbo. That's why there haven't been any patches or updates, that they're mm -hmm. they're switching to a new team and then hoping to do like a, a, a big patch all at once. Uh, is Dead Cells better than Nuclear Throne? I really like Nuclear Throne. And I will say that wrong, I'm sure, to somebody. Um, it's a solid game. Speaking of games that get hard, stay hard, and then just don't get any easier. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's definitely one of them. Right. I, I think Dead Cells sits sits above Nuclear Throne. I, I would agree with that. I think mostly because Dead Cells... I like Dead Cells' variety more than I like Nuclear Thrones. Like, obviously, Nuclear Throne is designed to be a... A, a smaller and sort of more fo more focused experience um, where I think Dead Cells is a, a larger sort of game in, in pretty much every way, but um, I, I would agree with that. Yeah, me too. I, I was going to bring up variety as well, but yeah, yeah for the same reasons. Uh, is uh, Dead Cells better than Dicey Dungeons? I'll let someone else go first here. I know what my opinion is, but I'll let somebody else go first. My knee-jerk is to say yeah, um, even though they're just radically different games. I. Well, you mean you can't compare this apple to this banana and tell me which <laughs> one is better? <laughs> so, uh, contrary to what the internet has told me, you cannot. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I, I, go ahead. I think it is. I, I think Dead Cells is better just because um, I, I think I mentioned it in while talking about Dicey Dungeons, but I feel like because e each character has the, the six um, like levels, I guess. And oh, right. like, the first five kind of feel felt to me like training levels. And then the sixth one is the roguelike. So right. and whereas Dead Cells is just right into it. So yeah, I think Dead Cells beats it. Okay. I agree, I, by the way. I it's a yes for totally agree. Well. Uh is Dead Cells better than Risk of Rain? Get those knives out, folks. It's time to start cutting some blood. So Risk of Rain is one of my favorite games of all time. I will say something. I think Dead Cells is better than Risk of Rain for one big reason. Is I think where Risk of Rain, and a little bit Risk of Rain too, although we haven't played that for the show yet, where that fails in a, a list of my favorite roguelikes is I think Dead Cells does the right thing where no matter how far you get into a run, you're still making a little bit of progress. Like, ah, just, I only collected 10 cells and I got to the end of the first level, which is pretty easy. I, I at least made a 1% of progress towards unlocking my next item. So I did okay. something. This, this run only lasted 15 minutes, but I did something. And Risk of Rain, when you get a bad run and you die 15, 20, 30 minutes into a run, you didn't, you don't, you didn't really do much in the the macro scheme of the game. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. Go back and listen to those episodes. The first two weeks, I hated that game. Mm -hmm. Despised it because it was so hard to start. It's just kicking yeah. you in the face over and over again. T-shirt also... idea. So hard that's... to start. <laughs> that's right. Also, it lied to you. <laughs> yes, it lied. It yeah, don't forget. Hundred percent. Risk of Rain is a liar. Risk I of can't believe liar. I forgot about being a liar. Twenty-two. That's right. So but, that alone, yeah, I, Dead Cells never lied to you. <laughs> I do think Dead Cells is better than Risk of Rain as well. Me too. Uh, is Dead Cells better than Void okay. Bastards here? Yes. I think it's better than Void Bastards. I like Void Bastards. I think it's a solid game. I think the biggest thing with Void Bastards, and some of the games below on the list have done this to me as well, but Dead Cells occupies my mind when I'm not playing it. Mm, it right. It's in there. It's like, okay, I, I am at work and I'm thinking, I can 25 cell run and I could probably get that next unlock that I need, or uh, I only need to do this. The second I turned Void Bastards off, it was gone from my head. Yeah. I was like, yeah. that was cool. I did a too. run. Like, it was fun. I mean, don't get me wrong, it plays well. The style is incredible. Like, it, it looks beautiful. It's a Upgrade fun. Upgrade tree is great. It's great upgrade tree, great progression, good feeling. There's a reason it's number three on our list. <laughs> right. <laughs> but for me, Dead Cells is like, oh, but what about getting that extra rune that everybody is talking about? The, right. Is like, what if I put these the two path. weapons together? Would they? Do they have a synergy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I was going to say the same thing. Like the when we stopped playing Void Bastards, I just. Stop thinking about really, it. Really, yeah, think about yeah. it. So, yeah. All right. I, I, I would agree there with you. Uh, is Void, uh, sorry, is Dead Cells better than Crypt of the Necrodancer? Hashtag controversial opinion, no. This one is the, this one the for me is the one. tough one. Yeah, because <laughs> they're, they're, surprisingly, they are very, very similar to each other, especially that run over run unlocking mm -hmm. and working towards goals and and yeah this this one's tough the reason why i would actually put dead cells above crypt and this is going to sound like i'm naysaying the beauty that is dead cells dead cells is a fantastic game it controls fantastic it plays really well but crypt is a rhythm based roguelike where you do things to yeah. music and that yeah. music a incredible b a fantastic gameplay strategy everything else quick thinking like with dead cells if you want to take a break to look at an opponent you can crypt mm -hmm. never gives you that chance you cannot breathe in crypt right it's like keep no, moving go 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 
go, go, literally to that beat. Because <laughs> I was going to say, like, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're staying on beat. Good job. <laughs> like, it's, I think, honestly, I think, I think Hand of Fate is a genuine work of art and something truly original when it mm-hmm. came out. I think Crypt of Necronta is one of the greatest games of all time. Period. Yeah. They got Nintendo yeah. to give Nintendo. them the <laughs> Zelda franchise. Right. They don't just give that to anyone. No, not they when they came g- out. <laughs> not <laughs> when they, that came out, they didn't. Yeah. Them and Capcom. That was really it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think I would agree with Dead Cells being on number three. I, I think, to me, I think Dead Cells and Crypt are really close to each other like i could if you ask me tomorrow i'll be like oh yeah it's definitely number two in the list if you ask me the next day it's like no of course it's number three come on were you crazy Mm -hmm. um but i think i think crypt does i think crypt for me is a better game overall i think for the reasons you were just saying and crypt is just a really great game I just want to say again, people should play Crypt and the Necrodancer. If you're yeah. not playing along to these people games really at home. Should. Yeah. Yeah. Play Crypt, play Hand of Fate. Like, play them yep. all. Like, well, maybe don't play Sunless Sea. Um, but play most of them. <laughs> play the top 10. Right. That's right. Play yeah. the top 10. That's right. All right. So it seems like uh, the scientists have uh, convened. The white smoke has appeared. And it says, hey, Dead Cells is number three. Pope, it's Hand of Fate. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> new Pope, same as the old Pope. Uh, it's Hand yeah. of Fate. <laughs> yeah, at least until Hand of Fate 2. Uh, that apparently is going to be like the, the only foreseeable challenger to the throne here. Uh, all right. Well, the, that's our number three game here in the top ten of uh, We Rogue Like It. So thank you very much, everyone, for listening. And we'll see you all next run. Bye. Bye. Bye.